To be honest, open source is such a beautiful concept. Someone puts their heart and liver into the creation of a software and then he just provides it to everyone. It's now everyone's property. Anyone can create their software on top of it. They can kind of republish it. They can use it for whatever purpose they want. And it's such a beautiful concept. And so today to celebrate this in game development, we're going to be exploring some amazing open source tools that will help you in your game development journey. So let's get started. Godot is a free and open source game development software. It's super lightweight and it's super amazing. Comes with insane amount of features and the new release of Godot 4 brings it on to an other level. Godot supports both 3D and 2D. It, it has features for everything, sound, UI, you got it, like everything. Godot offers three most primary languages, which is GDScript, C Sharp, and C++. Godot has limited support for C Sharp and C++, and ha has its own amazing scripting language called GZScript. Godot also used to support scripting, visual scripting, but then it was removed in Godot 4 and is no longer supported. Godot is an amazing choice as a game engine and the fact that it doesn't want to eat everything you want from your game, it's amazing. Definitely recommend it. Develop is an open source game development engine. It's famous for its behavior-based system that lets you create game logic in minutes. Recent update added a new multiplayer system that lets you create multiplayer, hold your breath in seconds. Literally, it's an amazing new system. You should definitely check it out. It's completely overpowered and I definitely recommend it. Blender is a beast. It is a 3D modeling, animation, texturing, VFX, motion graphics, 2D animation and a lot more features. It's unlike an beast software. It has like all the features you could ever need, obviously open source and like you can find uh, like a billion of tutorials on the internet. So to be honest, if you're starting out with 3D, like almost anything about 3D, like Blender is kind of the best choice for you. And not only it is open source, but it's kind of the best choice. You might not have heard about Libre Sprite, but you must have heard about a sprite it's an amazing pixel art creation and animation tool and some of its previous uh, open source versions are still available on github these versions are compiled and now called libra sprite no doubt krita is one of the best digital art softwares even if the current state krita which is available for free was sold for like a hundred bucks on the internet i would like gladly buy it it's an amazing software and i really like the sleek brush designs so like an amazing tool definitely recommend it like uh, like just use it lmms is like the best alternative to fl studio so it's like the closest thing that you can get to fl studio for free and no doubt it's an amazingly powerful tool there are, there are like a lot of tutorials available and i definitely recommend it if you don't want to buy a paid software audacity might be the best software you could ever find when it comes to sound and audio editing it's an amazing software that packs hundreds of features and now with the muse hub you can like expand however you want like there are hundreds of filters and stuff you can find on the muse hub so it just makes audacity much much powerful so that's it for today's video so uh note here is that due to the recent electricity crisis and increase in electricity price it's really hard for me to continue this youtube journey and uh, 
uh, I will definitely appreciate if you guys can support me on Patreon. The least you can do is subscribe to the channel and like this video. So thank you all for watching and joining me on this journey. So till then, goodbye.